Personal monitoring systems, or PSMs, are relatively simple to set up. However, the ways you can do it are almost limitless. If you're playing in bars and clubs, chances are that you will be going into a space without a dedicated mixing console. In this instance, you will need to use the pre-fader auxiliary sends from the main mixing console. Typically, most mixing consoles only have four of these available, and they are not always all available for monitoring purposes. Let's suppose you only have two monitor sends available. If everyone wants stereo and can agree on a mix, setup is simple. Simply connect the two aux sends to the left and right of the transmitter, scan for the best channel using one of the body pack receivers, sync the transmitter, set the rest of the receivers to that same frequency, and you are ready to start setting levels. In this same scenario, if you can't all agree to a mix, but are willing to operate in mono, you have a couple of options. If you have a dedicated transmitter for each mix, plug an aux send into each, but keep in mind that you're limited to the amount of mixes by how many aux sends the front of house mixing console has available. Scan and sync your receivers to the dedicated transmitters and you're ready. A feature offered on many PSMs is called mix mode. This is a handy feature when aux sends are limited or you only have one stereo transmitter. Connect two aux sends to the left and right inputs of your transmitter. Scan for the best frequency with one of the body packs and set the other to that same frequency. Then set both body packs to mix mode. At this point, you can do two completely separate mixes from each aux send and pan each pack to either all the way to the left or all the way to the right depending on which mix is preferred. You will hear that mix in both ears equally. Another option is to split the mix between left and right, giving the performers more individual control. For instance, you could use the first aux send on the left input strictly for vocals and keys and put the rest of the band in the second aux send on the right channel. Then, each band member can control the balance of the two mixes using the pan feature. If you're playing larger or better equipped venues, you may have the luxury of a dedicated monitor board and engineer. Most standard monitor boards have enough outputs for at least eight mono or four stereo mixes, allowing each member to have their own mix. Setup is simple. Merely connect the various mix outputs from the monitor console to the appropriate PSM transmitters and scan and sync. Another option that's become increasingly popular is for bands to carry their own mixing consoles. This allows them to find their right levels during rehearsal and then only making minor tweaks when going from venue to venue. Some of these boards even have digital capabilities that allow performers to make their own adjustments from a mobile device. It is advisable to set up this kind of configuration with a split output system so that your monitor rack can remain intact and the front of house engineer can still easily access everything he needs. Once you have all your transmitters plugged in and body packs configured, it's time to start creating your monitor mix. During sound check, it's very tempting to put everything but the kitchen sink in your mix, but you run the risk of at best having things sound muddy, and at worst overloading your ears and potentially causing hearing damage. When working on a personal mix for your PSM, avoid adding any instruments that you hear acoustically from the natural stage volume around you. Use your PSM system during rehearsals so that you have a general idea of the kind of mix you prefer. There are many ways to set up and configure a PSM. With the right research and investment, you'll be able to find a system that'll allow your band to achieve the best performance possible.